other than the death of a, a loved one, I think the most devastating news you could get or face in your life is when a doctor informs you of a life-threatening disease. Have you ever asked God so many questions in times of adversity? Why me, Lord? How long will I be in this condition? Am I going to die soon? Am I being punished? Did I sin? I'm about to share with you something I really haven't done. But I'm comfortable now, you know, talking about it. In fact, I believe my, my healing is already here, but not manifested as yet. In December 2016, the doctors informed me that I had to go on dialysis due to chronic kidney failure. I, I cried in, in the parking lot. I cried in that parking lot in the hospital yard, all the way to my office, which is about 20 minutes or so. I cried my eyes and I questioned God. I say, what did I do wrong? Why me? I'm a Christian, so why did I get this diagnosis? I was embarrassed and didn't want anyone to know. But of course, I live on a small island and the news travel fast. I thought I was going to die so, you know, until I went to the dialysis center and realized that people have been there for almost 20 years. And a few months went on into the treatment and, and I reflected on John chapter 11, which is about the story uh, about Lazarus being sick. And when Jesus heard Lazarus was sick, he told him that this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of Man might be glorified. Therefore, therefore, with that, I stand now in my position that the, the sickness that the doctor diagnosed me with is to bring glory to God. You know, before I go any further, let me take this opportunity to, to thank and recognize, you know, my wife, Joanna, our, our five children, Jaxana, Joelle, Drexel, Josiah, and Justin, especially Drexana, our only daughter who volunteered to donate one of her kidneys. And of course, recognize my siblings for being my support from day one. A special thanks to my friends, Floyd and Sharon Seymour, who stood by my side for, for months, staying with me at the dialysis center four hours, three times a week. There are many others whose names I have not mentioned, who continue to visit. Thank you very much. Right now, it's been more than two years. I'm living a normal life with the exception of going to the hospital 12 hours a week. But when I'm there, you know, I'm busy working away on my computer, so it's an office away from my office. And despite the, the doctor's diagnosis, I give God thanks in all things. I no longer ask, why me, O oh Lord? How long? My worrying days are over. My doubting days are over. You know, I trust God. You know, I have many days of worrying and, and doubting, but it's over now. And I, I know that many may not agree with me on this issue, especially if after many of us have lost, you know, loved ones to death. Some folks believe that healing is through death. You know, my t intent is not to offend anyone, nor do I wish to act like I am an expert in the Bible, as I'm not. And let me apologize if I act like I know everything. The truth is, I'm just learning. Whenever someone is sick, many of us say and pray, you know, we pray and say, Lord, let your will be done. You know, really and truly, a lot of us either mean it through healing or death. But based on my understanding, I believe it's God's will for us to be healed from all diseases. In Matthew 10, 1, Jesus called us his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. Hebrews 13, 8 states that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today. Therefore, if he is the same in the past, then we have the authority to heal every disease in Jesus' name. Now, there are many testimonies throughout the world where people are being healed. God wants us to be in good health. As the third book of John 1, 2 says, Beloved, I pray that in all respects, you may prosper and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. Another scripture I want to share with you is in the book of Romans, chapter 8, 
verses 11, which states that the Spirit of God, which raised Jesus Christ from the dead, lives in you. And just as God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same Spirit living within you. I hope that these scriptures demonstrate that it's God's will for us to be healed and live a healthy life. And then the question is, oh, why some of us are not getting healed? I believe some of us are not getting healed for a number of reasons. One of the primary reasons some of us is, I mean, getting sick is because of our diet. And therefore, that's the reason we're not getting healed, is because of our diet. Another reason is that some of us have given up and don't believe. We, 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 you know, we believe the report of the doctor, and so we do not believe we can be healed. In the book of Matthew, chapter 17, a man came to Jesus for the healing of his son, and he told him, he went to his disciples, and they told him he could not cure him. Jesus responded by saying, you unbelieving and perverse generation. Then Jesus later healed the boy. The disciples asked him, why could they not heal this boy? Jesus responded and said, because of the littleness of your faith. Some of us are not getting healed because of the spiritual attacks by the enemy. There's a lot of spiritual wickedness going on. However, the word of God says in Luke 10, 19, I have given you authority to tremble on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. We have the power to deal with the enemy. Some of us may have sin or unforgiveness in our lives. The Bible tells us to confess our sins and, and learn to forgive. We may be blocking our own healing because of unforgiveness and sins in our lives. Now, these reasons are not, you know, exhaustive. I know there are other reasons, but, you know, I will do further uh, research. So what should we do? Do not fight spiritual wickedness with spiritual wickedness. In other words, do not go to the obey, obey a doctor to find if someone did something to you. Fight with the full arm of God. Do not give up. Believe the word of the Lord. Study the word of the Lord. Meditate on the word of God daily. Find all the healing scriptures in the Bible and repeat them daily. Many of us expect some of our loved ones who died to be healed. I know it's hard. But I'm encouraging you to believe that the word of God and not have any doubts about God's will for you. Believe in hope against all hope. I know it is not easy, especially if you've been sick for a very long time. Ensure you eat the right things. You know, we recently had a seminar at, at our church in which the, the, the gentleman stated that one of the main reasons we have health issues is due to lack of minerals. Be wise and follow the doctor's instructions. However, I encourage you to also get a second opinion, especially from a specialist. God can and will use doctors to help you get healed. Healing can come naturally or it can come through an operation. What should others do? What should others do? Pray for your loved ones. Believe that your friends and family will be healed. Think before you talk to those individuals about the illnesses that the doctor diagnosed them with. Do not act like the individuals are dying. Some people die because of the very words and curses you put on them. Do not tell them you're sorry. Do not tell them you wouldn't wish that illness on them, on your enemy. Don't tell them you hope you wouldn't be coming to their funeral soon. Don't tell them that you had friends who died from that illness. Don't go and call every Tom, Dick, and Harry and spread news about what you hear the doctor say about someone. Say something positive about this person and to your family and friends. The power of life and death is in the tongue. I know we all have to die one day, but the truth is many of us are not ready to leave, especially if we have young children and our spouses. Be patient. I know some may say we are in denial. We're not in denial. 
we have faith that God will heal us. He did it before, and He will do it again. I know that I will receive my healing in the physical manifestation very soon, and so will you. I will definitely share my full testimony, and I will give God all the glory. Thank you.